Welcome to my YouTube channel, Sri Life. Myself, William Patel, Master Professor at LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. Before starting, I want to ask one question. Why have you chosen engineering field? What is engineering? And what is the key role of an engineer in society? So, engineering is an art of applying knowledge to solve the problems of mankind. A key role of an engineer should be giving easy and diverse solution of the problems which we are facing or going to be faced in the future. Today, we are going to start the subject named Basic Psychology. The first question come in our mind is what is civil engineering and why do you have to study this subject, right? So, civil engineering involves facilities, information that people generally use. So, this means that the profession involves finding out what is required and making it happen. And why do you have to study this subject? Because civil engineering or civil engineers shape the world we live in. They design, build and maintain the infrastructures like reservoir, dam, bridge, road, tunnel and any buildings. Their expertise is key for a sustainable future development. In this subject, we will explore the importance and applications of civil engineering which will directly or indirectly enhance our standard of living. So before starting the first chapter, let me first give a brief idea about the course content, its outcome and its applicability. Also discuss about the weightage or exam preparation point of view. So without wasting much time, let's get started. Here, the syllabus is divided into five modules, where the weightage of each module is 20%. So let's have the class of content of module 1 first. Module 1 is all about introduction to civil engineering and materials. To simplify it first, we will discuss the topic introduction, where we get the idea of branches and scope of civil engineering, various roles of civil engineer, and we are also going to discuss new of measurements, which are useful to conversation. After that, we will discuss different materials used in civil construction, which will give you the idea when and how materials should be used during construction. Here on screen, you see the list of materials like cement, brick, concrete, stone, aggregate, steel, soil, mortar, etc., which will discuss in detail later on. We also understand the water and wastewater characteristics in detail as well as drinking water standards in for water and wastewater engineering topic. Lastly, we look into the concept of traffic engineering which help us to understand traffic characteristics as well as devices used to control traffic. These are traffic signals and intersection are the devices used to control traffic. Now, I will give you an overview of module number 2, where the weightage of module 2 is also 20%. This module 2 is all about building planning and town planning. To understand it well, we divide it into two separate topics. Before giving you an overview of building planning, I want to ask one question that in this modern world, can we build any structure without planning? No. Then the question is, how to plan? Is there any guidelines available? Yes, for that we have to understand the basic principles of planning and guidelines from authorities of city or state. Even after understanding all guidelines and principles, we have to first identify the basic requirements of building planning. For that, you have to draw or not down all pieces or requirements of occupants on paper first and start implementing principles and guidelines for preparing final building plan. And for that, we have to learn this topic in detail. Next concept is quite bigger and interesting also, which is about town planning. So, here we understand what is town, where, what are the various principles of town planning, what is necessity of town planning, what are the various origin of town, growth of town, land use planning, Various principles and objectives of learning, advantages of learning. Also, we discuss about low cost housing, 
prevention of from any aggressor, which is non present text, which is had or had to decide for a visible height on the particular land or the road. Next, the weight will have a width of the model number 3, having the weightage of 20%, which means all about building construction and building services. Let's learn, let's start to understand first building construction. In building construction, I want to ask one question also. Can we construct a building without knowing the basics of a building? No. That's why we have to first understand different types of building, components of building, various types of loads acting on the building, various types of building layout, or brick walls, various symbols used in building, and number of nominal dimensions for doors and windows for furniture also. Next is building services, where we discuss basic requirements to be fulfilled of occupants or users of the building after construction, like plumbing and sanitation, how efficiently we can provide the water supply and drainage system to make this hygienic. Every building requires electricity. So that also comes under these building services. Lastly, we will discuss about topics like building finishes and HVAC, which is heat regulation and air conditioning in detail later on this topic. Now we will go through the context of model number four, having weightage of 20% also. This model is mainly about introduction to serving and leveling. So we part the heat. It into these five topics. First is introduction to survey, second, linear measurement, third, angular measurement, fourth, leveling, and fifth, model to second. First is introduction. To exercise the branch of civil engineering, one must dive into the understanding of survey. Basically, survey is an art of determining the relative height. Or the position of different points above or below the surface of the earth. In simple words, making of points on the earth or marking of the points on the earth to find the area and volume of the land or the For that, we have to understand fundamental principles of surveying and classification of surveying. Moving further, the next step is to have skills regarding linear measurement. Why is it what? For instance, during survey, you have marked different points on the ground, right? So, the next step is to connect the points very precisely by using different instruments and methods of the ground. So, in this talk, we will learn all about chain, offsetting, and reaching on the plane, ground, and also do linear measurement on ground practically. By linear measurement, you can find distances, but what about the angles of the boundaries? For that, we will learn angular measurement. So, for that, we have two types of compass. To understand the overall process, we will discuss the terms like meridian and theory and local attraction in detail later on in angular measurement. We also do practical how compass can be used in angular measurement. Moving further, the next is leveling. Now, what is leveling? So, it is all about relative heights of different points on the ground. Here, we have to identify the level difference between two points to know the slope, or that we have to look to the instruments used in leveling, like dumping level, as well as terminologies used in leveling. We will discuss different types of leveling also. In this topic, we will go through the actual on your site for understanding how level is carried out on the ground. Last but not the least, we will discuss introduction to ground control, which is help to decide or find out the best possible rules for railways, canals, roads, etc. Lastly, in this model, we will discuss about modern tools as well as some modern techniques which are used for nowadays. Every construction tool is necessary to achieve good results in whole project. We will discuss different modern instruments like Geodolite, 
Preparation. We also we focus on modern techniques which enhances speed as well as accuracy of it, any project like GIS, which is geographic information system, GPS, which is global positioning system, and remote sensing. Lastly, let's have a look on the topics of model number five, which is the same package of 20%. So here the beauty of the person numbers is each module has the same range, so each topic has equal importance. Lastly, we will go through the module number 5. This module is all about advancement in civil engineering, means in which fields civil engineering research is going on. For this, there is a queue of topics under this module, like smart city and speakers, solid waste management, mass transportation system, like DRTS metro, Rainwater harvesting, water shed management, green building, energy efficient building. This is all three, all four, is helped to control the environmental pollution. Also, we will discuss development of renewables, heritage structures, and the features of other research. I hope to enjoy the journey of exploring basic city engineering with you. See you soon on the first lecture of this series. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you later.